Pete Calandra here. Today's video features an improvised piano piece. During this performance, I take a few ideas and develop them over the course of the piece. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This piece is in the key of A-flat, and the first bit we hear is a sonority based around this. Okay, so we've got the E-flat as the lowest note, that is the five in the key of A-flat, and we have a C major triad above that. Another way of looking at that is we have a fourth and a minor second. This is part of that intervallic chord voicing I introduced in the last video. Another nice thing about this is it implies a diminished scale. Right, so that's half, whole, half, whole, half, whole, half, whole. You can do all sorts of cool things with this by simply dividing the notes of the diminished scale out between the hands. So, for example, if I was going to play just in my left hand the black notes and just the white notes with my right hand, you can come up with sonorities and figures that sound like this. Right? It's a lot of fun. Now, there's a little melodic figure. Something like that. Let's forget about the melodic figure for now, and let's just play the chords and the melody notes together as a simultaneity. So the first one is something like this, and the lowest note resolves down by step. Again, we're in the key of A flat. And using our intervallic harmony concept, I've got a major third above a minor second, right? And then there are some passing triads in first inversion or 6-3 if you like your figured bass. And then the second part of this is a chord sequence that goes like this. And that's, again, another fifth and a major third. So we have a struck suspension, I guess you would call it, that resolves. And this type of a figure comes in multiple times during the piece. Now, if you are interested in learning how to do some of these chord voicings, as I mentioned in the previous video where I discussed some of these concepts, experiment and keep a diary. All right, so what we've got here are two different kinds of chords. The left hand has either a half step or a whole step. Right hand has a fifth. And the left hand has a major third, and the right hand has a fifth. So in the key of A flat, let's play around and see what we can come up with using those two principles. So whole step from B flat to C, and then right or half step whole step whole step half step in the left hand you can come up with something thirds. So you can go on with this stuff. Let's try thirds. All right, so we had this. Again, interesting chords. It's not... We're leaving a few notes out in the middle. I hope this has been interesting, 
and I'll be discussing this more often in future videos. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. For more content, please subscribe and to be notified, ring that bell. Please leave any comments or questions in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and let's get started.